Uh, but now we're going north to south, which is good. Okay, all right, let's take a look at the current bus. Now, what's interesting is we kind of touched on it earlier. Whaling was probably a current hotspot, right? Especially yeah. with the, the floating island nearby. You've got all the resources as far as wood goes. You've got the floating island to make rotations, free loot. You even have access to Shadowstone. So right now, this is a pretty good place to land if you're Definitely. trying to especially make rotations. Yeah. We'll see where people look. drop here. And it looks like there are people dropping on the south side of the map, which I think is important. Three people dropping Tilted. That's pretty important to, to look out. We have seen some insane skirmishes come out of Tilted yeah. uh, before. And, I mean, northeast corner of the map, like last game, it's going to have, you know, six-plus players, which is going to be insane. Two people dropping on the island again, once again. And if I can get seven eliminations, even just getting eight, that's an extra point and a $7,000 in my pocket. That's huge. Yes. The pain, though, he's in some pain. Looks like he has, like, one HP, yeah. just about. Just got to get one shot on him. That's it. There you go. There it is. He just angrily looks at him. Carnifex finds an elimination early on in the game. And he even has the half shields and the minis. Kinstar, though, here engaging Carnifex. An all-star goes down to Carnifex. That's that's such a dangerous, Woo. that's such an unfortunate trade. And the reason why I say that is because I think Kinstar thought that that fight lasted so long. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they have, One of them has to be, they both have to be nothing. You know what I mean? But that just turned out unfortunate. But Jacob, 9 HP on top of over here at Westworld, trying to make his way of this fight. But he's going to get low ground <laughs> by Fade too. Catches him with the angle there. Pretty good. Now he gets some extra loot. He gets a few extra mats. I mean, it's early game. They didn't really have enough time. Free wood that you can farm with one hit. So you basically walk into a house and you walk out with a bunch of free mats. Yes, they have a replay from Sandel. <laughs> Cle cleans up what he started. Get back on track. And the fact that neither of them got that elimination was uh, kind of unfortunate for the position that they put themselves in. And then here we got Carnifex sweeping up that elimination once again and then taking out Kinstar. Just and then he ended up, he actually picked up the shotgun that he just got. Yep. Oh, and then he got into it. He gets another. What? Wow. That is huge. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, okay. We started off the game really strongly with three eliminations. That means one point currently hitting the board for them. But still 76 players. I mean, big bonus is probably, they're like, hey, look, I'm oh, yeah. three. I'm only four away from big bonus. Let's, let's get some more eliminations, guys. Oh. Oh, Tyke, though, falls down. Now, Tyke's not in the worst position, right? He's got the minis. He's got 10 bandages. But looks like whoever this player is is not going to give them the chance. It's Archangel. Yeah, and I mean, uh -oh. he, 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 Archangel's in a position where he has high. But, I mean, if he, he, if he doesn't heal soon, it could end up be looking bad. And it might turn out to that. They're going to get into a little build fight with Arc taking the high on here. But I think... Uh, he, yeah, so he does. Do oh, <laughs> wow. Archangel with the clean shotgun there. I think I also. Oh, there's a med kit. Zachibus might just pick it up there just to deny it. No, Zachibus he's is hyper confident. Focused. Yeah, he's like, he's I don't need it. on this limb. I appreciate their, their, both of their understanding of the space. You can tell they're yeah. both like how they're cutting corners, where specifically they're building. They're very comfortable here. We go. here. Goes to look. Nine slugs left. Zach is dropping. He's got one HP. He turns it around, man. He had one HP, basically no AR. Five rounds, and he and he has a med kit. <laughs> he claims the med kit on top of all of that. That's uh, that that's a nice ending to that, I'd say. But <laughs> so something that is that needs to be looked at in, in veins with a very clean elimination there, confusing Svanas and and getting him. Uh, getting Sven's eyes off of him. Yeah. I think that's big. That's a good play. And you see Sven disengages. But here go. we have the leaderboard. We have Carnifex with five he just eliminations. He finds another one, Myth. Look, he is two away from activating big bonus. If yeah. he can find two, he's right on the threshold. And At eight, big bonus yeah. is active. And he's not even in late game now. Look at his HP. Worth it? Is this? They've been fighting here for longer than 30 seconds, like you talked about. At that point, with the storm coming in, you have to ask yourself, is this worth it? Yeah. I'm going to have to use all my mats. Look, Lolito now has nothing. He can't make any additional builds. Ammo's looking low. Yeah, and he got the elim, but... But was it worth it? Scary. This is his fifth elimination myth. Let's take a look. Oh, see, that's... Oh. You, never, you remember when we talked about grapple? 
which is very interesting. And I'm, I'm curious to see how that plays out for him. Let's take a look at this replay from Eric. Finds himself an elimination there. This is in Salty Springs. And look, so this is Slug. So Eric was engaged, finds his elimination, but yeah. gets taken down. Slug's taking him out. 8 HP. They've got the meds. He's going to be okay. Where did you go? I didn't hear an edit. And then he just fires uh. back up at him. Yeah. Oh, look, he's thinking about it. Nova, you see him? Use the bush. <laughs> you have the bush. You brought it with you. He pulls it out again. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Is it, ah. Nova. Come on. See, he's not accidentally he hitting that button. He pulled it out for a moment. He was going to do it. There it is. Yes. He's popping it. Nova, come on. Just commit to it. Just commit. Pros don't fake. Pros don't fake. <laughs> there you go. Right here. This is, no, no, no. He's like, I can't do it. I, I want to do this siege, but I can't. <gasps> oh, that closed. could have been huge. He's got 29 HP. He's looking to do everything he can to survive right now, Myth. He's trying to disengage. Grim. Amar is like, I'm no, man. I'm telling you, dude. Pop the bush. <laughs> you should have done it. If you had popped the bush, you might have been okay and lived to build another day. but And change up the battle space entirely for everybody involved. And here we have Svenos, actually. Sort of turtled up in his one by one, trying to make his way, trying to get a pick, and off to Vayne's two eliminations. Vayne's is really, really solid right now, yeah. and I, I like Vayne's loadout. I like the the amount of materials that they have that he has, and I think it's going to be interesting to see how he utilizes those shock waves and the launch pad. He has three utility, uh, three mobility items, three utility items that could definitely push him forward in a very good way. And Carnifex, still alive. Still alive. Five and, eliminations. And is far from the zone he is right now, Miss. He's got to think about these rotations and how he's yeah. going to do it. He's got people that are just finding these angles on him, slowly chipping away at his health. Yeah, if, if you look, it's it's him. Ooh, yeah. it's Ooh, it's Veins. Well, that means Veins picks up his third it. elimination, takes down the Titan that is Carnifex. Yeah, and it seems, I, I want to say that Veins is is looking to make a rotation for this next circle, but before, why, you know, why play it early when you have something like a shockwave and you could go for these eliminations in this circle and have, and you know you're going to have the rotation anyways. So I think that's something that we're seeing Veins do here, and I think it's very, very smart. And it's going to pay off if he just plays it correctly, if he plays it out right. Getting sprayed from the back, though, is, is definitely an issue of concern. And we're going to see how he plays out the rest of this. So maybe he'll just walk with these people and, and just try to stick with it. But if things get too risky, I wouldn't be surprised if we see just that impulse. Or that, sorry, that shockwave may come yeah. to use. He's just being super patient about it right now, right? He's not really building too, too much. We see just a, a couple few ramps there. He's really relying on other people's builds right now, which I think is smart and sufficient. Scary thing is, though, man, everyone is moving all at the same time. They're yep. all scrambling, so... The Vic, though, explodes Freaky. Macau taking down someone. We're down at 32 players. If if the Vic finds elimination with that cheeky trap, I'm going to lose. Oh, Amar is um, down, though, to Macau. Banks gets taken out, too. That's unfortunate. So that's a situation where risk and reward, right? Because Veins was confident in, in, in the ability of taking those trades or getting and trying to get a few more of those eliminations. We see how aggressive he was on the people trying to push into the zone and Hex getting taken out by Wikisi. But it ended up playing out not in his favor because guess what? He could have just shockwave and ended up in the zone safe in a, in a little one by one and he would have been fine. But that unfortunately is not what happened. And we actually... Ooh. Chewed up, takes down Macau. Now Macau had five eliminations. That's gonna be two points heading his way. So many of these players keep getting close to this big bonus, man. That's you gotta think, once you probably hit like three or four eliminations, you're thinking yeah. big bonus. I'm and in to, range. To speak about it, that that's a thing, you know? Um with big bonus being something, kills across the board are gonna be higher. Mm -hmm. Which makes it even which makes it even more difficult for these players that, that reach that five, reach that seven mark to get that plus one. So it's kind of like, you know, it's like a piece of candy. You know, you see, you're in a candy shop and mama tells you you can't touch anything. You know, you can't have a piece of candy. Right. You, you, it's in your sight, but literally everybody wants it and they're just saying no. You yep. can't have it because guess what? I want it. Oh my gosh. Take a look though. Heisel utilizing that launch pad like you're talking about just to make these rotations, man. You got to find yourself in the safe zone. Now Heisel's mats, pretty okay. 400 brick. That's that's scary. It's it's a little <laughs> it's that's like enough to maintain this current circle. I agree. Move over. Yeah, he he's he he knows it. He knows that he's he's, he's playing for a pick. 
can't just play safe right here. He's got to take advantage of this opportunity, and he does. Comes Ooh. out big, picks up that third elimination, third elimination, gets on the board, gets that point, and we'll see what he can make do with these with the new resources that he's just gained from that. It's going to be interesting to see how that affected his game overall. That's right. We're nearing the end, Myth. 16 players remain. Vic is one of them. He got three eliminations. It's go time, though. He Circle's closing in. RPGs, man. Ten of them. Blood up top. Takes down Saiba. We're down to 14. Oh, gosh. That's not the sound you're going to be hearing. Just blows. <laughs> Just grenades. From up above? Yeah, yeah bouncing no. all around. You're like, it's uh, like, you know, have you ever been to, like, uh, you know, like an arcade? Yep. And you get a little game where like you like the coin goes all the way down. That's what that is like game with grenades. <laughs> and it's I scary because you don't know where it's gonna end up. You're just like you just know not it's bouncing. Me. Yeah. Please. It's going somewhere. Heisel though. Look at him. Alright, so Ray high ground retake with oh, that. There was someone right in front of him. I think it was, that was smart. excellent. Yeah, that was he's excellent. just like, look, man, I don't want to fight just yet. I just need high ground. I need the, ultimate high ground. Yeah, the situation, like the way Heisel just didn't even go for the shot. He just knows he understands his priorities and he's just making sure that he executes on them properly. And I think that's huge. Ooh, Myth, I Here talked about it earlier. Yes. The quad launcher is Let it currently rain. in play. There you go, being able to fire several rockets. This thing is a monster. So it's for crumbling. you, if you guys don't know what the quad launcher is, it's basically a rocket launcher that can hold four rockets at once. So yes. You basically can fire four before having to reload. Myth talked about it earlier. It's a mix between the RPG and C4. So it's like almost like a grenade launcher, yeah. rocket launcher hybrid. Yeah. And it, and it, and it like I said, a plate, like you've seen uh, Kama Yuzi here where it, it seemed to be super effective at taking out brick and wood. It's just like, it, it's clearing out the area. And it's nice to see in that position. And it could have actually led to him getting an elimination if somebody did drop down. And here we have Boyer. Boyer doesn't single land. He's got Blowing seven HP. To get into the zone. How he makes he's it. still alive, boy? Your camo he finds an it. elimination on blood. So camo currently leading the pack with four eliminations. Myth, he could do it. He could potentially see a big bonus. He'd have to eliminate every single person, <laughs> which is doable. It's a tall order. But look, man, Heisel but, maintaining yeah. ultimate high ground. And he's taking a look at the mats. Super interesting No, Where did Heisel's AR go? Did he have an AR? Uh, maybe he dropped it. I don't think oh, he, I don't think he had one. Yeah, that I'm, I'm interested in understand how his early can turn out. But as we see here, Boyer coming up big, taking out Camo. Heisel staying up above, playing the situation exactly how he needs to, just waiting him out, letting them fight down below, trying to create some chaos between these two players. But the zone is closing in closely. He gets in another elimination. And now it's just that 1v1. You're going to have to do whatever you can to get to the other players one by one. Make sure you don't get trapped. He's going to play the zone a little bit. Goes for the pump shot. He gets one. Gets it. And it's Boyer. It's Boyer. Boyer. <laughs> yes. No way. Yes. Boyer Listen, coming. I'm okay. In my wow. mind, when I seen Boyer with no, with what he had like 100 shield, no HP, I was like, my man. My man. Listen, no AR. The underdog story. <laughs> Everybody wants one. Is he Lucky Llamas? Uh, I will find out, and I will let you know. Let's take uh, a look. Let listen, man. Look right now. I, Boyer, please, please be a lucky llama. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I want. Right all right, now. Myth, bring it down. What happened? <laughs> Boyer, way to clutch it up. That was just so much fun to watch. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of things happening all at the same time that we are coming out. Now, keep in mind, this is after game number two. So Boyer right there leads the pack with six points. Right behind them is Merrick, Kingwin, Heisel, Karn Effects coming in at fourth, and Wesh in number five. Now, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it's a four games left to play. And, I mean, taking a look at the standings, man, even if you find yourself with one point, that could be enough to put you as, you know, upward of that top 15. Yeah. Look at, so top right now. Only 27 competitors have one point. So if you find two, you're definitely top 15. Oh, yeah. And that's gonna that could play a factor going into these next few games. Every single point matters, especially if you activate a big bonus. 